Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Aaron, with Evolution Daily. And what I want for you is for you to develop the audacity to be heard. When you're using situational openers or you're using indirect openers during daytime approach, you're asking for directions, you're bringing up something about the environment, and that's your method of deciding to talk to the girl. It's going to feel a little bit awkward. You're gonna have that little rush of anxiety. You're gonna have that little bit of escalation anxiety when you start transitioning into a more casual conversation. Because where it started off, well it started off with you genuinely having something that you wanted to talk to the girl about. Then all of a sudden, you're bringing up the fact that you're from Ohio and you went to Ohio State and you're asking about her dog and what she studied and bop, 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 bop. And it's not normal. It's not normal for you to approach this stranger on the street and be asking about her life and for you to be telling her all about your life. And what you need to develop, again, is the audacity to be heard. So the same thing goes for me when it comes to creating YouTube videos. So when I first started creating YouTube videos, I thought to myself, what exactly is it that makes me deserve to be heard? Have I earned the right to be heard? And I said to myself, I said, you're getting a lot of results in Cold Approach Pickup. You're slowly getting better each and every day, evolving daily, if you will. And you are constantly focusing on your growth and you have a lot to say about the subject. So don't build a company right away where you're trying to coach guys on pickup and hey, give me $2,000 for my boot camp and hey, buy my product, but rather just start putting it out there. Have the audacity to put out YouTube videos. They say that on the internet, 99% of people on the internet are consuming content, whereas only 1% are actually creating content. So again, what is it about me that gives me the audacity to be heard? When you're focusing in on game and you're trying to get better, you're gonna find these things. You're gonna find these things that you don't like doing. You hate certain aspects of pickup. So for a lot of guys, it can be their physicality. It can be, okay, so I understand, Aaron, you tell me to get more sexual in my sets, you tell me to get more physical, but what if every single time I put my fucking arm around the back of a girl's back, I start to feel this rush of anxiety? That means you need to be getting physical in every single set. A lot of guys will say things to me. They'll say, I don't understand how you expect me to plow and plow and plow in the conversation when this is a complete stranger. Why does she care about paintball? Why does she care about poker? Why does she care about my life at all? The fact of the matter is that she doesn't. You're not asking her to care. You're telling her to care by plowing through and continuing this conversation. Now, a lot of the times, especially during daytime cold approach, you're going to encounter a lot of girls that are what we call no girls or maybe girls, meaning they really want nothing to do with you or they're kind of on the fence about whether they even want to talk to you or not. And what that's going to require is again, this audacity to be heard. So understand that this shit ain't gonna flow so smoothly like a fucking river each and every time. You're going to have these moments where you think to yourself, man, why am I bringing up this fucking vacation just so that way I can start to keep this conversation going? Why the hell am I talking about this? And again, it's that audacity. So focus heavily on plowing through these conversations during the daytime. And that doesn't mean ramble about bullshit and nonsense. You might notice in this video right now, I'm slowing my speech. The reason why I'm intentionally slowing my speech from other you know, video field reports that you've seen where I'm fucking, and then we got the girls and we went into the cab and it was fucking crazy and everything was just blah. The reason why I'm slowing my speech here is because I want you to see that you can talk and talk and talk and talk and it doesn't have to come from this place of hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. But rather, it's that you can speak concisely, speak confidently, and you can, again, bring your world to the table. You don't have to cater your conversations to think about what's hot in pop culture right now. What is this girl gonna care about? But rather, again, bringing what it is that you care about to the table. I can't tell you how many times I've had girls say things to me that my eyes light up when I talk about my business, that they can just see the passion when I start talking about some shit that I really, really care about. And when you're talking to girls during daytime cold approach especially, it's not all about trying to have a good rapport. It's about showing off more and more of who you are. This guy's a good storyteller. This guy speaks confidently. This guy has things to say. This guy fucking plays paintball, that's cool. 
This guy thought he was gonna be a professional poker player for a couple years. How awesome. He did stand-up comedy. And guess what? If you're watching this right now and you're thinking, oh, that's so great, Aaron. You do all these fun fucking things. Good for you. You have a ton to talk about then that's an issue in itself because that means that you need to start living a more exciting life so that way you have something more exciting to bring to the table. Why do you think that Dan Bilzerian gets laid as much as he does? Sure, maybe here and there it starts off with the fact that he's paying some models for his fucking Instagram photo shoots and things like that. But overall, the key element to Dan Bilzerian level game is that he has created a world so fucking exciting so fascinating that any girl feels lucky to be a part of it. And what does that do? That keeps her coming back for more. They're hitting him up. What are you doing this weekend? What do you got going on next weekend? Where are you going to be tonight? The girls are chasing him. So again, bring your fucking world to the table. And if your world isn't super exciting, get that under control. Now, back to the original point of this video, having the audacity to be heard. Again, it's not normal that you're doing daytime cold approach. She does not owe you conversation. She doesn't owe you the validation that you need. A lot of guys get into this place where they're only gaming the girls that give them everything they need. The funny response, they laugh at the joke, they give them everything to keep the conversation going and that's not what it's all about. What it's all about is turning a girl that was on the fence, which again is what you're going to encounter most of the time during daytime cold approach, taking her from being on the fence to being in your world adding details to your stories, speaking confidently, good posture, and again, having the audacity to be heard. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Tell your friends about these vids if you really enjoy them. You don't have a friend, subscribe. Maybe it'll, it'll fucking help them out. Check out everything we're working on in the links in the description below. And definitely, definitely join my Facebook group. It's facebook.com slash groups slash evolution daily. Over there, I'm doing Facebook Live videos goddamn near every single day. I'll see you guys in the next vid. Peace.